All right, everybody, how are we doing today? So, <clears throat> here's an interesting one. Uh, Norway mosque shooting suspect appears in court with wounded face. Uh, Oslo. This is from Reuters. It says the man suspected of shooting at people inside a Norwegian mosque on Saturday and of killing his Chinese-born stepsister appeared in court on Monday with black eyes and wounds on his face and neck. Probably someone attempting a little vigilante justice against someone who's only alleged to have done it but not yet proven to have done it. Classic. This is why we don't allow vigilantism, people. This is why we don't allow it. A judge gave police permission to hold 21-year-old Philip Manshaus in custody for an initial for four weeks while he's investigated on suspicion of murder and breach of anti-terrorism law. The court's ruling later showed. Uh, Manshaus, who briefly smiled at photographers, does not admit to any crime his lawyer said. Witnesses said Manshaus entered at the Al-Nur Islamic Center with several guns, but was overpowered by a 65-year-old member of the mosque, who managed to wrestle away his weapons and fight in the fight that followed. <clears throat> Manshaus was a helmet cam wore a helmet camera filming the shooting, but did not appear to have broadcast the attack, according to prosecutors. This video is key evidence, police attorney Paul Frederick Hjort Krabby told a news conference. Manshaus, whose home is near the mosque just outside the Norwegian capital, had expressed far-right anti-immigrant views before the attack, police said. Yes, but that, that does not prove that he was the shooter. Plus, mass shootings are over-advertised in general anyway, and often blamed on right-wing extremists, which true many shootings are, but let's not forget the attack in Tacoma, Washington recently, which was handled by Antifa, which is a far-left group. So it's not just right-wing, it's extremism, period. Online postings under Manshaus name made shortly before the attack expressed admiration for the massacre of more than 50 people at New Zealand mosques in March by suspected white supremacists who filmed and broadcast the killings live online. Reuters could not independently verify that the postings were made by Philip Manshaus. A few hours after the Norwegian mosque attack, police discovered the body of a young woman at what they said was the suspect's address. Police later named her as his stepsister, Chinese-born uh, Johan Zangjia. Ila Hansen. The 17-year-old was adopted as a small child by a Norwegian woman who is now the spouse of Philip Menschau's father, the mother's lawyer said. Three hours after what had ha after what happened been chaotic, unreal, a tragedy, the lawyer Elizabeth Hagen told Reuters. These are two tra uh, tragedies, with one, one with the girl and one with the mosque. I represent the mother of the girl, she said, adding that the girl's mother and Menschau's father were together and, s and surrounded by friends helping them cope. Hagen declined to come out on any possible motive for the killing. Manchus did not speak with uh, reporters who were present, and has so far declined to talk to the police. Really, though, the term white supremacist is overused. Now, I'm not arguing or advocating for mass shootings in any way, but a white supremacist is someone who believes that simply because you are fair-skinned and white makes you uh, superior to everyone else. Now, anyone with an actual brain and a functioning brain in their head knows that's not true. In fact, if you ask me, white people are lazy. Yes, that includes myself. I think we're lazy. Uh, when black people, for instance, are behaving themselves and not committing crimes, and are living like a uh, law-abiding citizen, their work ethic puts everyone else's to shame, frequently. In comparison, we're lazy. We are very lazy. We're not superior to anyone. <laughs> but no, simply expressing anti-immigration, that's white nationalism, yes. White supremacy, no. The, the term is widely, wildly overused. Anyway. <clears throat> He's exercising his right not to be interrogated, his defense attorney, Uni Fry, has told Reuters he is not admitting any guilt. Police sought to hold him on suspicion of murder as well as of breaching anti-terrorism law by spreading severe fear among the, pro uh, the population when firing several guns at the mosque. While some of the weapons had been legally obtained by one or more residents at, at Manshaus' home, others may have been illegal, police said. 
The Norwegian Police Security Service, PST, which monitors and investigates extremist threats, said on Monday it had received a tip of regarding man-shots last year, but had not launched an investigation at the time. There was nothing in that tip-off that suggested there was a danger of an act of terrorism or that planning of an attack was underway. PST had Han Hans uh, Svier Jovald told a news conference. God, these Norwegian names are lovely, aren't they? He declined to comment on the content and sourcing of the warning. PST will now explore whether Manchas have links to any domestic or foreign extremist networks. All investigators have said they believe he acted alone in the attack. Svier told Reuters. Well, maybe there's a far-right Antifa-like group in Norway somewhere. Either way, he was wrongfully attacked while in, during incarceration. And really, whether he's guilty or not, I think he's doing the right thing by uh, using his right to not be interrogated. You never want to speak too early to a trial if you want to be found innocent, either way. Uh, to finish this article up, in 2011, anti-Muslim neo-Nazi Anders Bering Breivik massacred 77 people in Norway's most uh, peacetime atrocity, the majority of them teenagers at a youth camp. Norwegian Prime Minister Erna Solberg on send Sunday said that while her government was trying to combat hate speech, more must be done. We are kind of combat to co trying to combat this, but it's a challenge. I think it's a world a worldwide challenge in a sense. Worldwide. Any formal charges in the case and a trial to decide whether a man is guilty or not are likely to still be months away. A guilty verdict on charges of breaching anti-terrorism laws can carry a sentence of up to 21 years in prison, as can the killing of the suspect's 17-year-old stepsister, according to Norwegian sentencing guidelines. So yeah, he's facing some pretty major charges and a very long sentence. And even uh, if he did in fact do it, the, whoever attacked him should not go unscathed. That in itself is also a crime which needs to be answered for. But yeah, mass shootings get way too much attention. The word white supremacy is thrown around way too much. Uh, anytime a white person expresses any kind of pride or love for their race or their kind, it's suddenly characterized as supremacy or racist in some way. And yet if a black person does it, then it's pride and expression and blah blah blah. Fascinating double standard they have, don't they? It's a cliche, and therefore it in itself is racist. But nonetheless, I think you get my point. It's not okay to shoot people in, in this manner. It, it is simply not okay. Nor is it okay to characterize love of one's own kind as, as automatically being racist. Imagine if you said that about black people. Incredible. So the shooters are in the wrong, but so are they. And whoever, you know, beat the shit out of him, well, I think they should suffer maybe a, a lengthened sentence for it. Maybe add five years to their sentence so they get out much, much later. That sounds reasonable to me, but let's. I doubt anyone is going to take that suggestion seriously. But yeah, if this guy was indeed the shooter, then he is definitely a racist, but by no means a white supremacist. You people don't even know what that word even means anymore. Anyway.